Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great day. Well, today we are going to be starting this what I call stained glass stained glass autumn. And I got this this morning from Diamond Art Decor and we're going to be starting up here in the top in these leaves somewhere and the color that I'm using is 902 which is kind of a bricky red I think I told you that in the video but yeah it's very pretty and I wanted to show you the thimbles that I got from Amazon sorry um they come two in a package, and I got the medium ones. I think they come in medium and large. But as you can see, they're really short compared to these other ones that I got that covers most of your finger. So we're going to be testing them out today. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, yesterday. Holy cow. I was exhausted after I got done with everything I had to do there. Oh my goodness. And I need to pull you down so y'all can see what is going on here. Kids. Yeah. So I got up and I went to the grocery store. Got all the stuff to make red chili. So got that made before I went to the elementary school's Halloween parade. Yeah. I did that, and it was only about a half an hour. Before I went, I worked on that uh, beaded one. I call it Creek. That's what it said in the description. The ones with the uh, the mountains and the creek running down the middle yeah so I did that for at least an hour before I left and a good hour hour and a half after I got back and then I switched it up and got out the tiger and put in some beads on that so Made some progress there. And what else did I work on? I don't think anything else the rest of the day. I, whoops. I don't know what's going on there, but that ain't that. A little something, something else right there. So, yeah, I just worked on the beaded cross stitches yesterday. Off and on, like I'd go do something like make the chili and then I'd come back and work some more. And, you know, I have to keep getting up and down or else, you know, my neck and my shoulders will be just totally toast because I'm working on them on this desk right here that we're doing this video with because it's the only other flat surface I have, and there is no room, believe me, in this front room to set up my card table. So that won't be happening. So you get two options, and doing beaded cross stitch in the rocking chair ain't even one of them. Yeah, no, not happening. So I made a little bit of progress on both of them, and yeah, not much the rest of my day oh I did work on Peter Rabbit yeah that was the other thing I was trying to think in my brain after I said that wasn't that was everything I didn't that I worked on well not quite Yeah, it was a toss-up. I didn't know whether I wanted to start this one or the other one. And I just opted with this one. 
why not? And get that needle where I know where it's at. Um, I had two ladies send me their projects and their pictures. So if you have any pictures of anything that you have finished or anything you're working on, let me know and just send it to my email address and I will get it and I will put it into the next stitch with me you know from when you get it to me if I can the first one comes from Sharon Martin and she finished two of those Mill Hill Mill Hill bead little ornaments they're beautiful I, I think they're gorgeous I've never done a Mill Hill kit yeah, so, but they are, they're beautiful when they're done. And they have all kinds of them. So, that might be an option for this winter is to get a couple of those kits and just try it out, you know. Just so everybody else knows, you know what I mean? But great job, Sharon. I appreciate it. And thank you for sharing. And the next two pictures are from Debbie Bass. And um, one is a silk project with the cat in the window. And I think she said it was a Mona Lisa kit. So, very nice, very beautiful. And that's the work in progress. And then she finished the, uh, the donkey and the sunflowers. She said that uh, she did that for her son, who was stationed in, oh my goodness, where am I, uh, Kansas, and that he really loved it. So that was the finished one. So thank you for sharing, Debbie. They're both very beautiful. And if you do have anything else you'd like to share, just send it to me in an email. And I will get it up as quickly as I can. This pink is just going everywhere. I'm following a pink symbol and it's just kind of winding its way around here and there and everywhere. Yeah, I couldn't believe I worked on that beaded one for as long as I did. Or both of them, really. But I was just plugging away there. Not like it looks like you made a whole bunch of progress, but I really like doing it. It's enjoy enjoyable. Trying to see where the next pink is. Well, that didn't work out so hot. I think we'll turn around and go back here in a minute. But I must put at least 15 threads into uh, that beaded cross stitch. You know, that's half of it. I wish I could just sit there and thread needles and have them all ready but yeah that all takes time so you might as well just do them one at a time you know but I really do like those both of them I like the flowers too but you know I can only do so much in one day yeah and I like that they're the squares are big and the beads are big so you know you're not straining your eyes to uh, see where you have to put it or try to figure out what the uh, symbol is. Now, speaking of symbols, I'm having a little bit of an issue on the tiger because there's three different shades of blue in various degrees, if you will. So, that kind of put a standstill to those symbols. 
So barring those, I just went on with another symbol and until I can look at the pattern really close and see what is supposed to be what. Yeah. So, but that was been the only problem that I've had on it with them so far so yeah oh it is Friday and I'm going to have to tell you what it is for tomorrow well hmm let's go with since it's still fall uh we're going to stitch on anything in either orange red or brown thread I know that's not real imaginative, but it kind of covers a lot of the kits that I have. Because if I start specializing, I only hit two categories. One is either Oriental or Landscape, you know. So, yeah. Or Samplers, you know. So, that's all I can come up with. So, you can either the symbol that you're using is either red, orange, or brown, or the thread you're using is red, orange, or brown. It'll go with the autumn theme. Okay, let's get out of that little mess because it just got to be a little too much over there. I got my little black cat for Halloween. Woohoo! Yeah, I have one of those in person. Actually, this isn't even black. It's like a dark, dark navy. So, it looks black. They're in their Halloween costume. Okay? Yeah. They didn't want to get, what is it, typecast as... A black cat so they changed their color to blue this seems easy enough to stitch on which is a good thing I haven't looked at any other symbols I was trying to find something that had a bunch of color in one place that's basically my main goal Maybe I should put one of those things on the other side. So far it's working okay. It's not it's real thin and light. So it'll do. Cause I'm running out of the other kind. And it's not like I couldn't go get more of the others, but my friend Diane said, Here, try this. So I'm like, okay. Because 95% of the time when I have a thimble on, see, that, that finger just goes away and I use other fingers. So, But this is really nice and thin. So hopefully it'll hold up to needle pokes. We'll see. And they weren't expensive. I think got two for five bucks, maybe. So... That'll work. And I don't know if they come any more than two in a package. But I'll put the, uh, the product link down below in the description box if anybody else wants any to 
didn't watch anything new and exciting on Netflix lately. Watch some YouTube stuff, mostly yesterday while I was doing all that beating. So I have no idea what I'm going to work on today. i got to go and run do laundry today if I get my acting gear in time. Oh, I did notice. I wanted to point that out. You know how I got like five needles in this? They are all... Let's see if I can do it. I don't know if you can see. Oh, crap. Let me hold it that way. They have really fine uh, eyes on them. And they are smaller than, in comparison, this is the kind you get with an 11 count. So, I got that from some, some kit. Not sure which one, because I just add them to my... Thing, and then they're my uh, pin cushion and they're there so I really want to get back to Peter Rabbit too I got his head finished well stitched no back stitching don't get too carried away here that was going really well. I started the other day on uh, his little blue jacket. So I didn't get very far with that. I had to go to work. So. We're getting there moment by moment. Man, this pink symbol. I should have picked the green one. It would have been easier to see. Well, it doesn't help that there's a red symbol, like, where I just took that stitch, there's a red symbol. And I can't tell what it is. I, I think it's a circle. Yeah. So, we'll see. We will see. But I like the colors in this. It's really pretty. This tree will be a piece of work to get done. Because it's got... It doesn't have heavy confetti. It just has, like, sprinkles of confetti. And then there's bigger areas of different color. You know, I don't know. It'll be fine. Just depends, I guess, what I want to work on. So what's everybody else working on? Halloween, Christmas, anything else? You know, because, you know, you're welcome to do whatever. Because I do whatever most of the time. Let's get these four right here. I'm just barely seeing them as I'm coming back here. Nope, I think that's a yellow. Back it up. Back it up, boss. Oh, for pity's sake. There's one all by himself. Well, that, it's been kind of a scattered stitch here so far.
So this will take a hot, hot moment. thread out of there. Sorry, guys. I hate stopping and starting. It just was not what I had planned. We got about enough thread to do about six more stitches, and that might be it. Yeah, I've about completely drilled a hole in my my needle pushing finger that every time I hit it the wrong way, yeah, it just kind of sends you into orbit. It's like whacking your elbow, you know? Holy cow. I really had to use that thimble on the uh, beaded cross stitch because the, uh, what do you call it, the canvas is really heavy compared to what I'm working on right now. So, yeah. Or it'd be even worse than it was. Right. We're going to call that good, kids. I don't even think you can tell that they're leaves yet, but another couple colors and everything should come together. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me today and listening to me blather on. I sure do appreciate it. Let me bring you down so you can see what is happening. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.